Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. I was outside this afternoon in the backyard cleaning off the walls of the house and sweeping the the walkway and like that. And I have a story to tell you about a being that I heard while I was out here. First I'd like to explain about the, the honeybees that are newly arrived in my backyard. It goes like this. Way over here in the wall for my side wall for my backyard, there's a hole in the cinder block. And in the hole in the cinder block, there's a hive of honeybees. And all day long during the daylight hours, from that hole there fly out a lazy line of honeybees that, that go all over the place. But one of their favorite places is over by a rosemary bush, a rosemary bush on the other side of the yard, I'll show you. Okay, here's a rosemary bush in bloom, and there, you probably can't see them, but there are honeybees just about everywhere here, flying around gathering nectar, I guess. And, um, after they gather nectar, then they fly across this cement walk here to the edge of this water here. And during the daylight hours, by the water, there's always this line of honeybees. Let me turn it around here. Drinking the water. You see them? So they're around here on this side of the yard all the time. And that's a very important thing to know for the rest of my story. So I was thinking that I would sweep off these stairs here. And I did a little sweeping. And then I got to this flower bush here. And I thought, I'll just lift this flower bush up and sweep underneath there. There's bound to be some leaves and stuff underneath it there. So I picked up the edge right about here and got ready to sweep underneath. And I heard the strangest sound in my left ear. Something came flying up to my left ear, and it said, in a mean voice, a kind of a, a hissing voice, it said like this, What's your name, Alice? You leave those flowers alone. Don't you touch those flowers. Don't you hurt those flowers. And so I carefully put the flowers back down, and I said, to myself, who could that possibly have been? I've never run across a being like that before. What kind of a being could that be? And I started to put my broom away, and then I realized I had been talking to a bee. It's a first. It's my first conversation with a honeybee. 